Tomorrow marks the 15th anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks. Today, a man who made it out of one of the Twin Towers shared his story in Cary. CBS North Carolina's Bo Minnick tells us how that man, who is blind, was able to escape. Just like everyone else, we ran to get away from the collapsing tower. Michael Hingson's story isn't just one about survival. It's also a story of teamwork, escaping from the World Trade Center on September 11th without being able to see. He was in the North Tower when the first plane hit. We were on the 78th floor on the north side of the building. We had no clue what happened. Hingson has been blind since birth, but he had his guide dog, Roselle, with him. Together, they made their way down the staircase as a team. So as we were going down the stairs, she had to sense all the fear from other people. It was my responsibility to be confident and encourage her. Good girl, Roselle, you're going down the stairs doing a good job. And even when they became engulfed in the dust cloud, together they ran. No way I would have been able to run successfully if it hadn't been for Roselle. Roselle passed away in 2011, the same year Hinkson published Thunderdog, telling the story of a man and his guide dog. People ask me, um, what I thought about September 11th, what do I think about today? Hinkson lives in California now and speaks across the country. On the day before the 15th anniversary of 9-11, he spoke at the West Regional Library in Cary. There's now a new teammate by his side, his guide dog, Africa. But the story of how he and Roselle survived will always live on. I will remember Roselle. She was a great guide dog. In Cary, Bo Minnick, CBS, North Carolina. What an incredible story of yes. survival on such a Can't 